Oh, so because we finished that quest, we've actually unlocked something new. I'll go ahead and just uh, include it in, in part 16. You can see here this guy now has a Velocidrome sword. What this means is that I think they've actually opened, I think it's called the Sacred Woods or something like that. It's like a randomly generated forest that has different monsters in it. Generally, most times you go in there. Yes. So you can't really see it on the screen. You can only really see it on, on the bottom screen. But just know that there's a Velocidrome that's waiting for us to hunt it uh, once we've gone through this gauntlet here. And bringing along the great jaggy sword and shield. It's nice because it finally has green sharpness and actually not a terrible attack. But fighting this bug will allow us to do another upgrade. We will be able to make the bug blade amongst other things. Again, I feel like he's not going to spawn on the cliffs. I feel like what you do is you find him somewhere else, you fight him, and then he retreats to the cliffs in order to take a nap. Because that's a great spot to kind of show off attacking him with a knife, and you knock him over, and you're just giving him an overall bad time. So we'll check eight, and then we'll check four. He should be in one of them. Bug. Ah, there we go. He's in four. Okay. Ooh, let's just try and sneak up on him. No! He saw me and he ran away. There we go. Oop, whoa, whoa. So you don't want to be, while you see that little head is is yellow, that means he's uh, getting all ornery. You do not want to be attacking him during that time because then you'll get thrown off. There we go. Ooh, well he's moving. He's probably not all that happy that I just broke his horn. Uh, I guess now might be a good time to flash him. That back attack is really any faster at all than just rolling. Probably best just to roll. No, he's definitely ready. No, he's gonna go sleep. And so we'll be able to show off beating him up while he's sleeping. But these are Gonna go pretty quick. I think somebody might actually have a harder time with a great jaggy, but I don't know. I guess it depends on the person. And so when they were first showing off the trailers of this game, it seemed like there would be a lot of wall-to-wall -wall combat. There really isn't. Let me show you the extent of the wall-to-wall -wall combat. That's it.
Uh, might just go ahead and flash him again so I can actually reach him. Uh, fortunately, he's looking the other way. It's nice of them to give me his legs to at least hit on, but um, Sword and Shield should probably not be your first choice, I would say. Not the worst choice, but probably not the first one. And it's always such an important part of your first quest. You know, never, never neglect gathering. You know, great capitalist, com uh, you know, monster hunter. Uh, you're always going to need something. And there's nothing worse than being like high rank and realizing you need more iron ore or something else kind of silly like that. Okay, I forget what's up next. Probably either the lance or the hammer. Something that will make the quest atrociously easy. Looks like I got his horn. Probably need quite a couple of those in order to finish off everything else that I'll need.